Hello children, let us continue with the chapter classification of animals and uh, we'll continue with the phylum arthropoda. Arthro means jointed and poda means leg. If you see the structure here, you can see that the limbs contains many joint. Okay, so that, that is why this organism is named as arthropoda, jointed legs. Organism, they have a type of skeleton that is exoskeleton a hard skeleton is present on the surface if you can see the organism they have a shiny appearance on their on the top of the body and that is covered by a type of skeleton which is known as exoskeleton made up of chitin exoskeleton these organisms are covered with exoskeletons but we human beings we have endoskeleton like the bones which support gives a framework to our body so endoskeleton that supports our body and which is present inside our body which is covered by muscles and skin but these organisms they have exoskeleton which covers which, which is present the outer surface of the animal the body is differentiated into three parts head thorax and abdomen if you can see here the body is differentiated into head thorax middle portion and abdomen is the back portion Head contains eyes, antenna, mouth. The thorax region contains legs and wings. Abdomen region contains reproductive organs. The organism, these uh, phylum arthropoda, is subdivided into four types crustacea, insects, arachnids, and maripoda. Let us go through these classes. Crustacea, crust means hard shell. So, the organism they have a very hard shell, it's covered by a very hard shell and their head and thorax are fused. As I said that the body is differentiated in three reasons, head, thorax and abdomen but this organism they have the head and thorax fused. They have two pairs of antenna or feelers you can see to sense the obstacle and presence of exoskeleton and many pairs of legs. So these are the characteristics of crustacea. Coming to the class insecta, in insect what we can see the body is divided into three regions, proper three regions, head, thorax and abdomen. If you can see the organism which is present here, head, thorax and abdomen. So they have, they are covered by, the body is covered by exoskeleton which is made up of chitin. They have three pairs of legs, if you can see three pairs of legs are present in the thorax region and they may, may have wings or may not have wings. So these are the characteristics of insect. Coming to arachnid, arachnid also have head and thorax region fused. If you can see the, the structure of spider, spider comes under arachnid, you can see that the head and thorax region is fused and one abdominal region. Head and thorax region contains four pairs of legs. Absence of antenna, they do not have antenna and th there is an absence of wings. They have a jaw-like structure called pincer in their mouth. So, it, so they do not have uh, antenna, they do not have um, proboscis or the uh, uh, part through which they suck the nectar but they have a jaw like structure which is named as pincer with the help of they they feed the prey. After that coming to the next class that is maripoda. Maripoda many limbs many legs so the body of the organism you can see that it consists of it is divided into many segments and consists of many legs. So, it may happen that one segment will contain one pair of legs or one segment may, may contain two pairs of legs. This is the structure of centipede. So, you can see that one segment is containing only one pair of legs. So, they, according to that you can see that the, the organism contain many pair of legs. So, that is why they are named as maripoda. Coming to the next phylum, phylum mollusca. Phylum mollusca have shells and soft body. They have shells to protect the soft body which is present inside it. 
the organisms are unsegmented and they have a hard exoskeleton called shell to protect the animal so if you remember the structure of snail so you can see that the snail consists of a hard shell at the top of their body with the help of which they protect their soft body so these are the characteristics of phylum mollusca and octopus also comes under mollusca they have a reduced endoskeleton which is present inside the body of the organism but they have certain similar characteristics of the organism coming under mollusca that is why they, these are type of organisms are kept under mollusca then coming to the next phylum phylum echinodermata echinodermata echino means spiny dermata means skin so the body of this organism is covered with a hard skin containing spines they have an endoskeleton they have a two feet with the help of which they walk and they catch their prey and at the end of the feet they contain the suckers with the help of which they stick to the substratum substratum or any rock or any surface so these are the characteristics of phylum echinodermata in our next video we'll be talking about the group vertebrates